Now, let me make this straight. The law came from God the Father. You know, it's a great deal like the government of the United States. The Congress is the lawmaking body. The president is the executive of the administration to administer the government. And then we have the Supreme Court to do the judging. Now, spiritually, in the government of God, God the Father is the Congress or the Parliament. He is the lawgiver. He makes the law. And when you break the law, you have put yourself clear outside of God the Father. It is God the Father you need to be reconciled to, not Christ. You accept Christ, not because that saves you. God is the lawgiver, but Jesus is in the office of president or the executive. But Jesus also is given the judgeship. And even in the United States government, the president appoints the Supreme Court justices. So there's quite a similarity there. And that one church is to be translated or converted or changed into the one kingdom. The kingdom of God and it's a family. Now it's a family relationship. And in that family relationship, we are in the position of the wife. And we obey the husband. And the husband in turn obeys the father. And there is one lawgiver in that family. And it is the family of supreme authority and all power. There's one lawgiver and that's the father. And the whole family of God obeys, and the family of God is going to take over the rule of the earth, the kingdom of God. And in the Bible we read that there is one lawgiver. Jesus Christ is not that lawgiver. God the Father is the lawgiver. There is nobody of men or people of any kind that make the laws. God the Father makes the laws. God the Father is the great lawgiver. There's only one log ever. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming Herbert W. Armstrong content.